Hi. Um, it's fall here, uh, October 2012. Uh, the harvest is coming in. Uh, we live in a small farming community, as I said. Uh, there's a path we walk through an orchard, and it's always um, apples falling everywhere. One of the farmers asked us if we would please take it if we wanted the apples. And we went out, and we handpicked some of them, and then we shook the the Jesus out of the tree. It, <laughs> I think last winter I talked about the manalist just down the way. The snow comes over the roof <clears throat> and it hangs over. And if it freezes and drops, it, it can be quite damaging. And he developed this saw that's about 40 feet long. It's almost unwieldy, but you actually saw the snow off. And it's got two little prongs on it to keep the snow from falling on you. But then in the summertime, he takes those two little prongs off and takes the end off, the saw off, and puts a hook on so you can grab the apple trees and shake the shit out of them uh, so the apples fall out so we went into the uh, just into the neighborhood and uh, started shaking apples and we made an appointment for the apple mill or the apple press I'm not sure what the word is uh, and uh, loaded up our little van with I mean we ended up with two 200 liters of apple juice so a lot of apples uh, and got some unpasteurized on unpasteurized basically and uh, it's out back and we're drinking it but it brought back memories because where we used to live when I was a kid we lived in Erie Pennsylvania my dad uh, played at a place called the Beachcomber it was down on the beach and uh, we would moved to that big city I remember the first Christmas there it was absolutely nuts it was like Ralphie and a Christmas story if you haven't seen that it's a cute Christmas movie uh, well worth a watch I think uh, it, it's a, Ralphie was a few years early, but I got lost in the department store. I remember that. There were just so many people when we'd come from a little tiny town, uh, Franklin, Pennsylvania. But in the fall one year, my dad was real. There was an apple press up near us. I don't have any idea even where the neighborhood was. I'm sure I could find it someday, but I don't think it exists. And I don't, I don't imagine that the apple press still works or the apple mill, whatever that word is. Uh, but I remember dad going up and just being so thrilled to get there and getting a few gallons of apple juice and so the apple press the apple mill is just down the road from us we drove in and uh, we were a little bit early for our appointment you have to make an appointment because there are so many apples this year I mean they are littering this place uh, and every place you look there's apples laying. well not every place you look come on that's a little bit of an exaggeration but <clears throat> throughout the orchards apples are and so we took them and came back with uh, gallons of, or liters of apple juice and some of it unpasteurized and it's turning just a little bit hard so it's crisp and tasty and but it's, it's neat living up here. You get in touch with the, the, it's just about time, for those of you who have been waiting, it's just about time for the cows to come home. They've been trickling down off the Alps. Uh, they're coming home. I saw something going up today. Uh, they were not coming home. They were going back up. I don't know. Maybe they're on vacation. But the cows are about to come home. So if you've got anything important to do, get after it because it's time. www.micpeakperformance.com